All right, what you see is a design of a paint pot app in App Inventor. It's just the design. We haven't done any coding yet. Now I'm going to show you to do the code to make all this stuff actually work. Okay, to do the code, you choose, click on the blocks button in the right top corner. And this brings up the blocks editor. And this is where you're not going to see any textual code, but you're going to see a bunch of little puzzle pieces, little blocks that you can put together to make your, your app work. In this case, we, you, we first want just to let the user draw some circles on, on the picture, right? So I'm going to choose canvas. And what I want to do is when they touch, when the user has touched the canvas, we're going to draw a circle, okay? So when they touch, I'm going to go back to canvas and choose the draw circle function. And it is, sorry, where's the scroll bar? There it is. So I'm going to go and choose draw circle. Okay, so when, wherever the user touches, we want to draw a circle. Now, if I draw, draw a circle, at some specific place, like let's say I grab from math, I grab some number blocks like, I don't know, 50-50 or 50-30. So I'm going to use Command-C and Command-V to copy that number block and make it 30. Okay, R is for radius, how big the circle is going to be. So I'm just going to grab and another number and I'll just put 5 there. Okay, so right now if I touch the canvas, it's going to draw a circle, but always in the same place. So I'm going to touch lower right corner, and the circle gets drawn in the top left corner. So I'm going to touch a bunch of times. It doesn't seem like anything's being drawn because a bunch of circles are being drawn right on top of each other. So that's not exactly what we want, right? We don't want X and Y to be fixed. We want them to be the same place as where the user touches. And it's a little tricky because draw circle is a function with parameters, right? You can give it any numbers here for its X and Y. And really, we want to give it the X and Y parameters from the canvas touched event. So the, the touched event parameters are named the same as the draw circle parameters, which is a little tricky. But I just want to go up to this X and grab a get X. And I'll stick it in the X slot for draw circle. Do the same for Y. Okay. And now, when, when the canvas is touched, I'm going to draw a circle right where it was touched. So let me see if it works. I'm touching my phone right now. And as you can see, Circles are getting drawn, and, and they're getting drawn wherever I touched. Okay, so we've, we've got a draw circle function, and now the user can draw, draw circles on, in, their, in their app. Drawing lines is pretty much the same, or very similar to, to how we draw circles. So I'm going to just kind of clean up the UI a little bit here. And I am going to then grab from Canvas what's called a dragged event. Okay, so touched is when the user touches down and releases their finger right away. Dragged is you know, when you drag your finger across the screen. Okay, it's got a bunch more parameters. The key ones here are previous X and Y and current X and Y. They tell us, kind of as the, as the user drags, you're going to get a bunch of these events, and each one will tell us where they started and where they finished. So even though the user is doing a continuous movement, what happens is a bunch of canvas.dragged events, events get called. Okay, what we want to do when the canvas dot dragged occurs is draw a line. So I'm going to go to canvas and I'm going to scroll down to draw a line and pull pull this out. And you know, in this case, we want to draw a line from one point to another, and we really want to go each on each of these drag triggers, we want to go from previous X and previous Y. Okay, that's where the user's drag started to current X and current Y. All right, now let's see if this works. So I'm going to go over to my picture and I'm going to drag my finger across and you'll notice, yep, it's working. So even though it seems like I'm drawing these kind of continuous lines, really what's happening is a bunch of little tiny lines are getting drawn on each, you know, very tiny movement of, of, of my finger. step back here and just notice our app right now is it kind of consists of two event handlers right uh, a touched and a dragged and and on both of those events we call a single function one straw circle one straw line but this is this is our app you know and, and, and most apps are exactly this it's it's a set of event handlers the user performs some action or maybe some text comes into your phone or some other kind of event and you respond to it by by doing something to the phone.